Pigs might fly, said the old sow, uh, saw, meaning, of course, that nothing was more improbable. But in these days, the most improbable things do happen. Why, only the other day, a Scots farmer actually spent, what do you think? He spent a whole day in the streets during a house-to-house -house collection. And now London farmen are spending a lot of their off-duty time with their pigs in the very heart of the West End. Among the rubble of blitzed houses, resourceful members of the NFS have built a row of stone styes. And the pigs in them don't want to fly. They don't want to try. They're too well cared for. The food is waste, collected by the men from local restaurants. Soho slush, they call it, and they make enough to feed 30 fine saddlebacks. New tomatoes cheek by jowl with old timbers. Marrows meander where motor cars were messed. And not only pigs, but rabbits, steady wrecks. Hundreds of Belgian, Dutch and Flemish crosses, some with the snooty arrogance of a chinchilla, wrinkle their soft noses against the wires of the hutches ranged round the blitzed walls. Dodo on the left and Dinkums are fast friends. And here are a couple of quacks. Yes, they are really ducks. But the first job of our London farmer is putting out fires, and the whole world knows how well they can do that. Pigs might fly, London farmen do. Among those who